Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be checking some more Judge Cutie action. The replays are linked in the chat and today's judge will be Judge Cutie. Order in a courtroom. We're about to start. Order, order, order. I'm linking the <coughs> replays in the chat. Oh. Yes, this is my real hair, by the way. Yeah, see? Not fake. Look at that. A real hair. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. Now, the suspect is a barcode. Server is NA. Of course, that's where all the map hackers are. It says seven different charges against this guy, okay? Seven different charges. Charge number one, goes no scout, gas first, reaper fast, expand. Charge two, this guy moves right on time in position to intercept my reaper. Number three, intercepts my tank drop by moving out on the map directly in front of the medevac. Randomly sieges at a random position on the map, leaving his maze right, blah, blah, blah. Let's get it going. This is the suspect, the barcode. I'ma nail this bish. <clears throat> yeah, red is sus, indeed. Alright. So first things first, he says oh it's a TVT by the way. It says Reaper fast expand no scout. Now listen, this is no proof whether someone is hacking or not, okay? There's plenty of players that don't scout, okay? That means absolutely nothing. But the first one, we're just gonna insta kind of reject, right? The first accusation against Red Terran is immediately thrown out, immediately, because it's stupid. Number two. The guy moves right on time to intercept my Reaper. Okay, let's let's look into that. <laughs> yeah. I want to shout out all women out there. Uh, dealing with long hair is a extremely hard thing, okay? Now, Okay, Reaper Fast Extend. Listen, this is greedy, but it doesn't prove anything, right? It's greedy, but it doesn't prove anything. Okay, let's see. Now, he says... Okay, that's an interesting scout. He says he moves onto the ramp to intercept his Reaper. Although... Already, this guy is putting his Reaper in between, right? Which is what you're supposed to do, by the way, right? If you play TVT, this is what you're supposed to do. Because if you don't know where your opponent is, you put it in the middle so you can kind of leap on both sides. So just this move already tells me that uh, this is looking good for red. See, he's constantly moving it back and forth. So maybe Diesel MP, maybe just Salty because he got wrecked. I don't know. We'll check it out. Although now I would move my Reaper and my Hellion right here. So let's see where that first interception is. Okay, the Reaper is coming. Let me look at the red point of view. The Reaper is coming. He does not know. No scouting. Nothing has happened. He's stacking his units. Okay. What did I what did I just say? What did I just say? That you're supposed to move your Reaper and the Hellion in your main base. Did I not just say that? Answer me right now. I did. And he's doing exactly that. 
I think that I mean, okay, well, this is suspicious, right? This is suspicious because it's literally at the exactly same time, but this is a very normal thing to do. And I can also say that maybe the, the reason why Red didn't do it earlier, because he's just bad. Like he should have done it the moment first two Mariners came out. Or maybe four is fine too. But maybe he's just a little slow, right? 200 APM, not too quick, right? So let's see. Let's check that replay again. The macro not looking too hot for uh, for either side, I gotta say. They're both skipping uh, units. Okay, so he kills the Reaper. And another thing that I've noticed is this guy is going for like a very safe opener. With Siege Tank Viking, right? He's not skipping any steps. He's not skipping any units and stuff, right? So he's doing everything. Oh, okay. Okay, dude. What was that? Okay. Okay, let's analyze this a little bit. The Metamax coming across the map. Is that the third accusation? Intercepts my tank drop by moving up on the map directly in front of the Metamax. Okay, now. Why do you have girl? It's I'm Judge Cutie. What do you not understand? Um, so this is suspicious, but I think that red, well, pink in this case, right? This guy is moving to attack. Let me see. I think he's moving to attack. Because you can see him gathering all the units. Mm, but the way he was moving there is kind of hella suspicious. Yeah, like, I was going to give him, you know, I try to give people benefit of the doubt. But if he was moving across the map, that's luck, right? But look how he moves to the left. Like, he wants his army to be like this, right? And then punch on the... Look, you see that? That's kind of... I don't know. And also, he never scouts with a Reaper. Another thing to uh, to recognize. And he doesn't have any defense against Banshees. Of course, Banshees are not coming. But again, you can say in his defense, Banshees are not that common. So you don't really need... You know... Raven every game, but he's not even holding off any mules. But I do think this guy's like the Pega MMR, so maybe he's just not great because his SCP production is kind of lacking. Like the like production is not going, so maybe he's just not that good. Okay, so right now, the number three, which is intercept my tanks, is kind of suspicious. The Reaper thing and the expanding with no um, scouting is not that suspicious. Okay. Randomly sieges in a random position on the map, leaving his main base vulnerable. Okay, well, how does that... How does that prove that he's hacking? Let's check. Let's check. He's going three racks. He sieges up right here. Ah, uh, okay, dude. Now he's gonna unsiege. Oh, wait, let me see that again. So he's moving and blue is moving. So he decides to go back and siege up right here. Okay, dude. That is, uh... We're getting in deeper shit right now, okay? The longer we go... I don't know. Kind of monkeys right now. Okay, now I'm, now I'm, you know, I'm giving this guy benefit of the doubt, but it's getting worse and worse. Uh, looks in Fogel Ward, my main, ba main base at 640. I mean, the guy is not scouting at all. Like, 
Early game scouting, okay. But this guy has no clue where the opponent is, right? I mean, he knows, because he's... You know, if he's hacking, he knows. But this is a terrible play. Like, listen. Barcode guy, if you're watching and this is you, this is terrible gameplay. If you're not map hacking. This is god-awful. Please learn how to play. Okay, this is terrible. Get supply blocked. Okay. I can see that being an accident, right? Like, he kind of seemed like he got caught off guard because the medevac literally ran into his army. Oh, oh, he he took a look. Why did you take a look here? Are you going to do a little uh, push? That engagement was kind of weird. Okay, well, if Blue actually microed his units at all, or just siege up these tanks, he would have won that. But, if you're map hacking, right? Like, where did, when did he look? He looked at 640. Wouldn't you, like, have a better engagement there? You know what I mean? Like, that was a bad engagement for uh, the bottom left here. The barcode. I mean, he looks now, but there's nothing there, right? So what is he looking at? Let's say the map was revealed. Even if you look at the mini-map, you could tell there's nothing there. It's just buildings, and you could see the army on this side. Did he click there at all? Let me see. Did he send something? Did he try to scan? Oh, wait a minute. Did he try to scan? I'm going to look exactly at the moment where he looks at the base. 640, 634, 635. Oof. Oh, this is a close one. He just got the energy. Like, at 634, he did not know the energy. Or he did not have the energy. But at 635 he did, but then he does not scan. What is he selecting? Let me see. What is he selecting at 634? He did select CC, but he had energy the moment he select the moment he selected the CCs. And this, see, this is what I mean. If he knew this was coming, 100%, wouldn't you set up a little bit better? Like, why not siege up right now? Because look, the army is coming. Why is he moving forward? He sieged these things before seeing the army. Let's check that again. Did he though? I don't think he did. I mean, that was very close. That was very, very close. Like, the the siege mode is right now clicked the moment Helen showed up, but he it definitely looks like he, you know. He definitely looks like he knew the army was coming. Alright. On the charge, number one. Goes no scout. Gas first reaper expand. Not guilty. Not guilty. A lot of people do that. Charge number two. This guy moves right on time in position to intercept my reaper. Not guilty. That happens all the time and that can be a coincidence. Okay? It's possible. Not saying it's 100%. It's possible. 
Intercepts my tank drop moving out of the map directly in front of Medivac. That's what we saw earlier in the game. Now that's definitely very, very suspicious. And this is where... This is where... Things start to shift. I mean, again, look at his movement, right? He looks like he's waiting for the Medivac. He even moves to the left. And then he tries to pinch it. I don't know. Looking at the fog of war, he did select CCs, okay? He had command center selected. So, he could be wanting to scan and then he decides against it, okay? And then, the last one. Oh, sorry, there's two more uh, charges that I forgot to read. But let me first finish these ones. Number three, intercepts my tank, drop by moving out on the map. I'm gonna say, Guilty, guilty. That is extremely suspicious. If he was running across the map, it would have been fine. But the fact that he moved his army to the left and then tried to push in the medevac, that's hella suspicious. I'm gonna say that's a guilt. That's a, again, if I had to decide on that one thing, that's super suspicious and I'm, I would, guilty, all right? Looking at the fog of war, we said not guilty. Number four, randomly sieges the random position on the map, leaving his main base vulnerable. That was right here. He moves on the map, right? And then when the blue army starts coming out, he goes back and sieges up like he's waiting for the blue to come. Hella suspicious. Hella suspicious. I'm gonna go with guilty on that one as well. Number six, these are the last two I have not read, okay? Having a very bad build order for a 5.7k GM player. I think this build order is bad, but saying for a 5.7k player, 5.7k, I mean, listen, I don't want to bash NA server, but NA server is filled with terrible builds and terrible all-ins and terrible macro plays and... I wouldn't say this like, oh, this is this is one of the things why th it makes it suspicious. I personally have played even on, on uh, you know, when I play in GM, I've played on Europe against builds that were like this, Marine Siege and Viking. And I think they're bad builds because you're potentially risking of dying to many things, but it is possible it's just his build. So on that one, not guilty. And the seventh one has worse SCV production than me, even though he went Reaper Expand and I went Double Gas Factory Expand. Let me check the SCV count. 35 to 36. I mean, he's about four, two to four SCVs behind. So his SCV production is bad. But again, you can't use this as an argument for someone hacking. Maybe his macro is just shit, right? So on that one, not guilty. The jury will now vote. And then I will give my closing words. This is a matter of whether the barcode is map hacking, okay? He doesn't have macro hack or whatever. He is map hacking because his macro is dog shit, okay? If he's macro hacking, then get a new hack because it's fucking dog shit, okay? Jury, you have two minutes. Order in the courtroom while we do the voting. Thank you. Objection, your highness. Uh, Akai, speak up. Oh my god, 50-50. Recount. <laughs> Come on. Come on, man. Alright. The polls are closing soon. Five, four, three, two, one. Order, order, while I give my final thoughts. Hear me, hear me. 
I would say, even though the person being prosecuted right here has more not guilty points, has four not guilty versus three guilty out of the seven points we have said. If there was a potato to my head and I had to decide, is this guy map hacking or not? I would have to say, yes. Order, order in the courtroom. Don't. Guilty. Okay. If this was a platinum game league, okay, if this was like a platinum or gold and you can be like, oh, he's randomly seizing on the map or whatever, they don't know what they're doing. This guy is one of the finest NA gamers, okay? This guy is grandmaster on NA. This guy is the future of NA gaming. He should know that scouting is good, right? That making SCVs constantly is good. And that defending your base in a proper matter is good. But he's doing none of that. He's playing exact like he knows exactly what's happening. Okay. If you look at his army positioning opponents, he's playing exactly perfectly to that, but he's not playing against anything else. So the barcode from NA is guilty. For that, I will sentence him to playing StarCraft 2 for one full year and watching StarCraft 2 for one full year as a Terran player. But he's not allowed to balance wine for a full year or he's going to jail for 10 years. Good luck with that one, because that means he's probably going to go to jail. Yeah, no whining allowed. That's brutal. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm sorry. But I don't take map hackers lightly. They have to be punished.